Stem cells have proven to be a magical cure for pretty much anything you could ever imagine. But with this new discovery, we're allowed to create stem cells way more efficiently than anyone could ever believe. Hello, and welcome to Nerd Sanctum. Today in Science News, researchers have found a new way of creating stem cells very effectively that doesn't require the use of embryos. This method directly enables adult cells within a patient to be reprogrammed into other types of cells that are required for curing numerous conditions and diseases. Juan Belmont from Salk Institute discovered a unique gene combination that allows induced pluripotent stem cells to be created within a patient's own tissues. This is a revolutionary breakthrough that allows stem cells to be created more effectively in a non-controversial manner, which can accelerate the progress towards finding various important Cures. When categorizing all the cells in the human body, we have two categories, specialized and unspecialized. Specialized cells are the normal cells in the human body that duplicate themselves and can only create cells of the same type. While unspecialized cells, or stem cells, can divide themselves into any of the 220 different types of cells in the human body. So stem cells are the building blocks of the human body. Every type of cell in your body with a specific purpose once came from a stem cell that developed into a specialized cell with a specific purpose. This makes stem cells a very valuable asset as far as cures are concerned because this allows them to repair or replace injured tissues with customly grown substitutes. Some reported studies suggest that stem cells can cure many things like spinal cord injuries, diabetes, blindness, deafness, arthritis, organ failure, or even sick cell anemia. And diseases like heart disease, lung disease, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and Lou Gehrig's disease. Now, not all stem cells are exactly the same, so let me describe the three different types of stem cells. First being embryonic stem cells, or ESCs, which are immature cells that have not transformed into cells with a specific type. These can be found in an embryo, a fetus, or the blood within an umbilical cord and have the ability to develop into about any of the 220 different types of cells found in the human body. Second being adult stem cells or ASCs which can be found in infants, children, or even adults. These ASCs are located in developed tissues like the kidneys, brain, or heart and usually only create cells within the particular organ that they are located. Lastly being induced pluripotent stem cells, or iPSCs, which are mature cells that have been reprogrammed to a non-specific stem cell-like state so they can turn into another type of cell. The old process of acquiring reliable stem cells forced scientists to do one of two things. Either use a preconceived embryo, or cloning an embryo using a donated egg and a cell from the body of the patient. This process is not only controversial, but also inefficient. The controversiality of this derives from religious communities that believe destroying these conceived embryos is killing life. Because even though it's not conscious yet, it is still a biological organism. While the lack of efficiency comes from the failure rate of when these new stem cells are injected into the patient. Failure arises when the patient's body rejects those cells because their immune system thinks those cells are a threat and tries to kill them. This new process works by altering the balance of lineage specifier genes that determine what type of adult tissue the cell may become. These genes code the proteins that decide which path a stem cell should differentiate to. First, by deciding a particular type of cell lineage, like a skin cell or a blood cell, and then finally by turning into a specific type of cell, like a white blood cell. Before this discovery, everyone thought that the OCT4 gene was necessary and couldn't be replaced, but luckily this team found otherwise. So this new analytical method of reprogramming pluripotency back into cells can allow fully developed adult cells to be transformed into other types of cells which prevent the need for using embryos and eliminate that risk of rejection because these cells directly derive from that patient. This discovery makes stem cell creation much more efficient and less controversial, so hopefully we can expect a massive amount of new science breakthroughs in the coming years. Hopefully current medical and biological research programs will use this discovery as fuel to accelerate the progress of their program towards the creation of various cures for different conditions and illnesses. 
Also, if that isn't amazing enough, not only does this research apply specifically for stem cells, but also cancer cells. There are many molecular congruencies between them, which means that this iPSC recipe could also be a solution for oncogenes, which is a gene connected to cancer. So that's today's tech news. If you've liked this episode, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to hear more science news. If you have any questions about this episode or would like me to cover another topic, please leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, have a good day.